Hello everybody, my name is Flynn of the Star Bunny, and in today's video, we're actually going to be doing a fast food tier list. To get straight to the point, these are places I have never been to. I've seen many of these places around, you know, like Jollibee, and Denny's, you know, Del Taco, you know, Five Guys, and I even know what Whataburger is. But now, I'm going to start talking about the places I've been to before. Uh, Chipotle and Chick and Chick-fil-A are F-tier, it's because uh, Chick-fil-A is homophobic and uh, also I'm gonna be honest, their food is quite mid, I would rather eat propane chips for all I care. And as an Afro-Latina, I'm gonna be honest, Chipotle is the biggest piece of shit I have I've ever seen, I swear to god, if you like Chipotle, you are CRAZY! But anyways, uh, so the reason why KFC is like on the highest of the D-tier is because, I'm gonna be honest, I only go for the Baja Blast. And the reason why Wendy's is at the very bottom is because all their burgers are pretty much like Minecraft at this point. Hab and Pizza Hut are, you know, like, they're fine and all, but, like, honestly, I have better pizzas, like, anywhere else. Like, even from, like, the microwave, if I'm off, like, all I care. I hop, um, I'm gonna be honest, why would I pay for breakfast where I can make my own? Alright, something I'm gonna mention about Carl Jr., even though it's, like, in the, like, in the very middle, they do have star-shaped chicken nuggets, so I'm gonna let that slap! Because I love star-shaped chicken nuggets. But anyways, uh, Panera Bread, it's, like, uh, it's, like, it's like the highest of seeds, mostly because they're not bad, like at all, but you know, like they could be better. Uh, Jack in the Box's bottom seats here is because I take eating burgers very seriously. Uh, shit, I'm gonna regret that at some point in my life. But anyways, uh, all right, B tier. We got In-N-Out, Burger King, Pan Express, Popeyes, and Subway. All right, let me explain. So, I'm gonna be honest, Subway has pretty good sandwiches, pretty good. Man, their footlongs are not even a foot long, but you know, that's fine. That's fine if I'm eating from Subway, you know. I can just waste my money like that, because why the f*** not, apparently. Alright, Popeyes. Okay, okay, look at this image, and then look at the bottom one. I want you guys to tell me which one is Popeyes. Yeah, if you're at the top one, you are right. Look at this chicken compared to the bottom one. And honestly, the bottom one's from KFC. If you like KFC more than Popeyes, I swear to God, I'm gonna... But anyways, Panda Express, I'm gonna be honest, I just, I, I'm gonna be, a, a lot of my Asian friends hate Panda Express, I'm gonna be honest, I like it, I think it's pretty decent, but you know, they hate it with like, you know, their like whole body, and I'm like, you know what, as Afro Latina, I hate, like I hate Chipotle, and like there's somebody in the world who just so happens like Chipotle more than Mexican food, so I feel like from that, I feel like, I don't, I, I have no doubt response to that. I, it's just something that, that, you know, that I noticed. Alright, so the reason why I put Burger King this high up is because, alright, I've seen, you know, maybe I've heard, you know, a lot of shit talking about Burger King. But, I'm gonna be very honest with you guys. Burger King is the cheapest place to get a burger. Like, 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 I'm not lying. If you use the app, it's like extremely cheap. I use the app almost all the time every time I go to Burger King. Heck, I'm a millionaire in that app. But anyways, Burger King is really cheap. It's really good. I don't know why people complain about it. Like, if you go, you know, you're getting cheap service for cheap food. It's like, duh. In and out, I'm gonna be honest. I like it. The burgers are amazing. The shakes are... Mm. I'm, I'm a, my main problem with this place is their french fries taste like cardboard. I'm gonna be honest. I'm pretty sure everybody can agree that the french fries taste like cardboard. And if you say that the french fries taste good... Then I'm gonna be honest, you never had some really good healthy french fries. Like, I made my own healthy french fries. They were, oh, they were the bomb. I'm like, ah, get my buffy wet. Ah. Okay, but anyways, back to the main point. The main point is, it's like, like, like you can make healthy french fries. So, like, do it. Taco Bell is A tier. $5 chalupa box. Oh my god, I can't get $5 at McDonald's, bruh. But even though McDonald's is expensive, I'ma be honest, McDonald's is pretty good. Shit, I love spending $12 on a meal. Cause I can, apparently. Jesus Christ, have you seen the McDonald's prices? Oh, back on topic. All right, so the reason why, um, okay, actually, no, nah, forget it. I'ma get on Little Caesar's case in a minute. But I gotta talk about Sonic. Bruh, have you not been to Sonic? Look at their menu, look how huge it is. 
I have to edit two squares just to fully show how big their menu is. And it's a fast food joint. What type of fast food restaurant needs this much in their menus? My shit, bruh. I gotta go to get their menu at some point. Just look at these hot dogs. <laughs> Wieners. And now, Little Caesars. The reason why I put Little Caesars at S tier is mostly because of the $5 high and ready classic. I'm pretty sure I already finished my sentence there. Good night, everybody. <laughs> I'm not gonna end the video there yet. Um, I just wanna say uh, there's gonna be a lot of updates to the channel, mostly on what I post. I'm gonna try to post as many commentary or just like random bits with just me in general, just so that the algorithm on YouTube can detect me more than all the other stuff that I post in order for me to get views and more subscribers a little bit much more uh, efficiently. Uh, so yeah, so make sure you please like and subscribe. And uh, you know, I'll see you next time. Uh, yeah, laters. Thank <laughs> you.